Good morning, we are back at work today and today we finally, finally are putting up the, the filler pieces in the kitchen cabinets at, up the top. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a bit of a hard one because there's a lot of cuts and there's a lot of like weird kind of gaps to fill so we'll see how it will look. We have to figure out how we're going to make it look really nice and seamless. So we already tried once a few weeks ago to put these filler panels and we realized that the the boards that we have to put, put the panels are a lot wider than this, this part. So that part up there looked really strange when you put a really white board on top of that. So... Then we thought, okay, we need to get an offcut from one of the original cabinets because that would be the same color. So we knew we will have some boards left, like from some kind of uh, shelves that we didn't use and stuff like that. So we thought we needed to finish all the cabinets first, and then we will see if we have any offcuts left to use for just that one board. Here in the front, it can be the white that we have because the cabinet doors are a lot whiter uh, so that for that we have uh, enough boards so that should be fine basically that's why we kind of put it off for a long while until we realize if we have any kind of offcuts so yeah that's what we are doing right now yeah so what we have another problem here one of the things we didn't realize is obviously because we used cut off from the shelf that we had to cut to put the exhaust and obviously these shops don't have a nice end this is now a glued, uh, something glued here that I just added see how it looks so obviously we wanted for this wall match we wanted like we did for that panel that this comes all the way here so basically when we came and put this in here, this just came and stayed like this, as you, ending with the wood. Yeah. We could technically put this one in front. Put this one in front, but then if you would do that, then all these lines then here, here yeah. are completely misaligned. So and it, I think if we couldn't fill that line as well, because again, this side is not as white as the front is and silicone would be really white to fill that gap so i think you would be really able to see that there was something so i'm trying to find some something here i like this i think would be good at how does that board look let me take that arm from... oh yeah actually it looks pretty okay I mean, you can see. I can cut this part, which is gonna make it nicer. You know. I don't know. Well, I can't see. What are you talking? Pass me the scissor. But it's. I think it's made. Just leave a little bit over, like yeah. so you can't see the gap in between them. Yeah. Yeah. These basically these things. The sticker that he uses, we bought in IKEA as well. It's kind of a thing to put in these gaps. Not in those. It's it is? Close. Yeah, not in those. Those aren't supposed to be closed off, these gaps. That's, it's to close off gaps Not against... those gaps, this wall. Oh. Against the wall. Yeah, okay. Yes, yeah, so it is for, for these gaps against the wall. Obviously, the board that he's using is not the one that's going to go there. It's just a sample. second piece so <laughs> oh my god don't can't you use it from other side Shit. well you will have to what the hell are you gonna cut the third piece this is ridiculous <laughs> it's nearly lunchtime and we haven't gotten any further 
So what he did was he cut it on the wrong side, but I think it's fine because the, it's still uh, white on this side anyway, so what's the difference? Is it finally? Huh? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, so the right side has this blue sticker over, so that's he cut it so that this was the facing. So, oh, the fun of renovations. This is not all secured in place, but all the cuts done here. Still, obviously, we'll have silicone to go or some kind of filler to go to connect with the ceiling and some gaps. So I think I think it's all right. This is our injured boy today. Mm. He's feeling a lot better today. Already putting his paw on the floor, so getting there. So we've got the panels in. Um, so obviously, we need to put some caulk or silicone all around to make a nice edge against the ceiling and the corners. Uh, but apart from that, it looks okay. So this one obviously was this whole full panel, which we cut to go all the way to the ceiling. Uh, oh no, sorry, not full. One here and then the next one, but it goes all the way to the ceiling. Then a long piece all the way there, uh, which is glued to that tiny one. And then these ones are actually screwed in. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it looks okay. And yeah, but also this stuff. long one is holding in place on its own very well because it's very tight. Yeah, it's so that's why you didn't very, really. Very tight and this hole here, this one, we are going to probably make some kind of um, wine holder, wine rack. To fit a few bottles in because I don't know if I've said it in previous videos, but these upper cabinets that open up like this, we ended up not having uh, ones that are exactly the size to fill it the whole row like we could with the slower ones. So there was supposed to be a gap and we, when we were doing it online, we, we filled that gap with the filler piece, sort of like thinking that that's what we are going to do. But in real life, we can see that that gap is so much bigger than we thought we, it would be. So we ended up thinking then we could actually use it for something. Yeah, I mean, we just need to even here, we could actually just put some shelves in here. And uh, this is enough to put like four or five bottles of wine. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, those nice bottles of wine that you only drink. That <laughs> we never drink, let's be honest. Special <laughs> start in here, I guess. <laughs> uh, Which we have so many of I and mean, we now don't even drink wine. <laughs> but they have to be stored somewhere, I guess. Yeah, let's see how it is when we put the silicone around it. So we put the silicone all, all the way up there, down the cabinets as well and all the way up there as well i think it looks really neat still need a bit on that corner but this is what makes everything look so much better yeah all the silicone actually it's not silicone it's cold it's uh it's not i don't know it's just cold it's this kind of sealer for acrylic sealer for the walls and and stuff like woods i guess and things like that that are not that don't have to be like water resistant like silicone and this is a bit better because it's not so sticky as silicone so it's a lot easier to work with it's a bit more powdery so 
This looks really good. I guess that's it for this week. What we still have left to do is you have to put some upper shelves on the other side of the kitchen. We still need to do the filler pieces for the extractor cabinet. And, oh, and most importantly, we still have all the doors to fit. We are uh, we didn't receive the hinges with, with the doors for some reason. It was some kind of mistake. So we contacted the company already and they will send the hinges like as soon as they can on Monday. So we probably only will receive them on Tuesday or, or even later. So maybe during the week, but most most likely during the weekend, we, next weekend, we will be doing the doors. And after the doors, we still have a few. Oh, we still have a few um, skirting boards to fit after the doors are in. And after that, I think we don't really have anything much left to do. Just like furniture and like light fixtures and things like that, and still a shower glass. But that's that is pretty much it with like renovation stuff. So. Since the renovation is pretty much finished and we have only like furnishings and things like that left, I'm planning to next, during the next week, put together uh, the budget that we've spent on this renovation. So maybe sometime during the next, <laughs> maybe sometime during the next week you can expect that video. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time.